Welcome everybody, welcome if you're new, my name is Bernalee and today we will be looking at the fruit of this spirit which is faithfulness. So what does it mean to be faithful? Yes guys, so faithfulness can mean either you are full of faith or it can also mean uh, a type of commitment and dependency. Bear with me. So we will look through all these three separately baked up with scripture. So. So for the first one, which is being full of faith. So Hebrews 10, 23 says that, Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. So this means that your faith is in God. You are full of faith. And the faith that you have in God will not be shaken. You will, you will not be wavering because of the hope that you have in God that God will come through. You are full of faith that God will come through. Yes, so um, faithfulness is also um, it's strongly linked in what you believe in. Um, for instance, if you believe in you, you, you believe in God, you know that you, your faith is in God. So you know that you are hoping the hope that you have is going um, is, is, is making you, your faith strong to know that God is going to come through. So when you look at the commitment part of it, let's look at um, Paul as he's sitting in prison and writing this letter to, to Timothy. In 2 Timothy 1, 12, it says that, For this reason I also suffer these, suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed, for I, have, for I know whom I have believed, and I am persuaded that he is able to keep what I have committed to him until that day. So Paul basically says that he's going through, he's in jail as he's writing this letter, right, to Timothy. And he's saying that even though I am going through all these things, basically I'm still committed to God because I believe that whatever I've committed to God, he knows that God will preserve until that day. So that shows a, a form of commitment unto God. Um, we can also take Daniel when he was thrown into the lion's den. We can take the three Hebrew boys when they were thrown into the fiery furnace just because they were not gonna bow. They still held on to God. They were still committed to God even though they were going through things. When you're looking at faithfulness from a point of um, dependency, it shows that in 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 3, Timoth Paul is writing to the church and he's saying that, but the Lord is faithful who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. So this basically just means that God is dependable. You can depend on God and you will know that he will, he, he will come through for you. Yeah, so all these three are interlinked. And in order for you to have that revelation, full revelation, you will have to have experiences with God. And the only way that you can have experiences with God is also if you believe in God. You have to believe in God in order to know that that was God who came through for me right there and then. There are people that don't want to, they always say something happened. Their belief is not in God. Therefore, their faith is not in God. Therefore, they don't experience what we as believers experience when we have a breakthrough or just something from God. Yeah, this all boils down to you have um, given your life to Christ and that you have committed this life to Christ and that everything else after you have committed your life to Christ that you are having faith that God is going to make everything work out for your good even though you don't see it. And when things get tough you don't just derail from Christ you commit to Him, you stick and you stick with Him like glue you, you. You don't leave him, even if you're persecuted, even if you end up in jail like Paul did, you're still going to commit to God and you're still going to encourage other people. While you're in the dungeons, you're still going to recommend God to other people because your circumstances don't define your faith. Your circumstances only make your faith strong. Then you have faithfulness. And that is the fruit of the Spirit. This can only be born out of the Spirit. If you don't have the Spirit of God, or if you are not in the spirit, if you're not a spiritual being, it is very difficult for you to grasp that. People um, just go away from God if things are happening to them. Um, I was watching a video of a friend of mine who was interviewing a lady who was raped while she was doing ministry on campus. Yet this lady, after everything that she went through, still stuck with God. 
Now that is faithfulness. It doesn't come easy. And I'll link, put the link in the description below so that you guys can just see her testimony as well. Um, so that is faithfulness. You know that, okay, God, something happened to me or something is happening to me, but I'm still holding on to you. And I have faith that I will get through that. That is having faith. That is being faithful. So this is also a thing that as God is faithful to you, you also need to be faithful to God. God should also be able to depend on you, just, just like he knew that. Eh, test my servant job. He, that one is faithful to me. I can trust, I can, com uh, I, can, I, can, I can trust him with whatever. Different, yeah. So people think that when you are availing yourself to God, that you are being faithful. You can avail yourself to God for a season and then just move away. Now faithfulness is you availing yourself to God doing what God is telling you to do as well as not revoking that availability from God because we oftentimes just want to be faithful to God for as long as things are going the right way. We don't want to face things and when when troubles come that's when we revoke our availability and you're like God please I'm out. With God it doesn't work like that. You have to stick with God through thick and thin just like Timothy did and in our age it would be like that lady who was raped which i that story is just remarkable i mean god is also looking for faithful people just like he's a faithful god he's also looking for faithful people that he can work through therefore we need to be committed to god we cannot go in half-heartedly and then leave god in the middle of the the, the the project and most of the times our our faith and faithfulness is also tested in the little things those little things because god says that if you are not faithful in the little how will he be able to increase you so even if the small things you should also have faith in the small things and not just believe God for the big things you have, yes because most of the times when we are faithful to God like that that is when our breakthrough comes that is when our promotion comes because promotions only come with faithfulness you are not going to be promoted if you are not faithful and we also have to act in faith when God tells us to move, um, to act or to move, just like Noah did. Noah was told, was given an assignment by God. And in faith, he just, God told him it didn't make sense to me, never rained before. Yet in faith, he went and he built that ark. And I mean, he could have given up any time because that ark took so many, about a hundred years to build. Yet he kept on building. He did not give up. He saw nothing. He didn't see the fruit. Yet he knew this is the assignment that God has called me for. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to commit to this assignment until God um, does whatever he is going to do. Until that time, I will be committed in this assignment. So as we are building, guys, let us be full of faith. Full of faith in a manner that God will come through for us. God is the one that we are going to believe in and trust in. We are not going to waver around now, even as we face storms that we know that the God that I serve is not going to let me down he I'm gonna hold on to him it doesn't matter what I'm gonna go I can lose that job I can lose that boyfriend <laughs> I can lose whatever I can lose but hold on to Christ okay yes and continue depending on God God is faithful so this is very interesting and you can never really separate that from each other. So guys, thank you for coming through today. Um, thank you for watching. Um, please like, share and subscribe. And guys, I'll see you here Friday, 6 o'clock.